Today we have CodeGX, yet another powerful AI assistant. I came across CodeGX recently and I really loved it. As I've been reviewing different AI pair programming tools over the years, I really wanted to share this one with you guys. As you can see, it comes packing with all the major features that you need, like code generation and completion. There's comment generation, even code translation, which is one of my favorite feature, and we will explore this later in detail in the video. And we have the CodeGX chat as well. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that they support multiple different ideas across different disciplines, as well as you get different languages, and there are even more. If you scroll down, you will see that they have an enterprise plan, which is more of a multi-user plan, but if you're the individual user, the free or default plan is more than enough for you. So with that said, and all the details about CodeGX, let's actually jump to our VS Code and install this and explore all the amazing features that it comes packing with. So here on my VS Code extension marketplace, I have searched for Code GX, and as you can see, I've already installed it. You will have to install this extension. And one thing to notice here is that Code GX is a Chinese tool, so you will get a language barrier, but I will show you how you can go around this language barrier as well. So once you have installed it and you're here, you're gonna see everything in Chinese. But if you click on three dots here, and click on the topmost option which is going to be settings and here you will have to change the language preferences for the chat the comment and the sidebar to english rather than the default one and that will change everything to english this way you can come across the language barrier and after that you will see everything in english now with that said let's actually go on and explore different features of this amazing ai pair programming tool so if you go here you can see that they give you the basic features the explain command, the comment command, the fix bug command, and the test command, which will generate unit tests for you. These are the basic feature of any AI pair programming tool. But the exceptional feature that it comes packing with is this toolbox where you get different tools like JSON to CSV converter, there's even JSON to Java class, as well as if you scroll down, you get a tool to generate QR codes. And one of my favorite features is this translation feature where you can insert code and then translate it into all of these different languages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the basic features first. So inside my explorer, I have this file here, which is test.py. Now, if you want to generate the code inline on the go, you will have to press Control I and it will open up this box here where you can write your prompt. Like if you want a bubble sort algorithm, you can just say that and it will generate the code for you. All you have to do is just submit and it will generate the code according to the file type that you're using. So I'm using the Python file type, the .py. So it's gonna generate the code in Python. And as you can see, the code is already here. But one thing to notice here, that this view is the difference view, which shows you what is being added inside your file. And once you click on done, all the plus and these arrows are going to vanish. So let's go and do that. And as you can see, your bubble sort is actually working. Now, if we save this file and we run this, you can see that we get the original array as well as the sorted array as well. So the code is actually working. Now that was just a code generation, but if we go back to the code GX chat here, and if I select all of this, it's gonna appear right here and it will even suggest you to do different stuff like explain the code, or you can click on command here and use the explain code command here. So both things will do the same thing. So let's go and check out the results. So as you can see, it gave a detail of each and every aspect of this code and explained how it's going to work. But what if I want to comment all of this code? So let's go and click on that command, the comment command, and we're going to get the commented code. And if we click on insert, it's gonna insert that inside right here. But of course I had the comments already, so it didn't do much. And with that said, Let's actually go and try to induce a few bugs inside this code. So what if I add a few bugs and then try to debug this code? So let's go and select all of this buggy code and let's go and fix the bugs. And as you can see, all the errors are gone. Now, these were all the major features and there's one more left, which is the unit test generation. So if we select all of this code and you click on test, you will get the unit test generated for you. And as you can see, you get the detailed unit test ready for you. Now, these were all the core and basic features that any AI pair programming tool should have. But here comes the interesting part. I'm going to go with the toolbox and I'm going to convert a JSON file to a CSV file. So let's go and click on that. And if we click here, I can upload a JSON file. So let me go and upload a JSON file here. 
And once you're done uploading your file, it will show the file right here. And after that, let's go and hit enter and check out the results. And as you can see, it went on and converted your JSON file that you just uploaded into the CSV file here. And you can download this CSV file by this link here because everything is happening over the cloud. So you will have to download the file from there and you get all of these different tools in the toolbox. Now that was the toolbox, but there's something that I love more than this toolbox, which is this translation feature. Now, if we select all of this and I want to convert this Python code into, let's say JavaScript, I will just have to choose that and just click on translate and it will do everything for me. And there you go, within a couple of seconds, the code is ready and you can insert it inside your file. Now, if I insert a JavaScript code inside a Python file, it's obviously going to give me errors. But if we insert it into a .js file, it's going to obviously work. But let's say I want to convert this into something else, maybe Dart or C or there's even Go or C++. So let's say I want to convert this into any other language like uh, C++ here. All I have to do is just select the language and just click on translate. And there you go, you get your results within a couple of seconds and then you can copy and paste them. Now, one more thing that I must mention here is for the individual plan and the free plan, you're using CodeGX Lite. But if you go with the enterprise plan, which is for a team or a company, you're going to go with CodeGX Pro. It doesn't have much of a difference, but of course the Pro version is a bit better because the model at the back end is quite capable. So as for an individual user, I think the light version, the free version is more than enough. So with that said, these examples were quite basic and simple. And I kept it this way because I wanted to make it as simple and easy. So you guys can understand how to use this tool and all the features about this tool. I hope this video was valuable. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.